Yo, only I can pull her hair, bro. Yes, sir. Another day, another My Hero episode. I look. Expect these reactions to drop, not the day of, but probably the following day, all right? That's usually how it works for me. And if I tend to forget, which I usually do, remind me that I have to do a My Hero reaction in the comment section of my last video, all right? So, <laughs> I'm excited for this because it is getting super good right now, all right? Last time we left off, the homie Hawks was dealing with Twice and Dobby, man. You know, especially Dobby, because Dobby is coming, bringing the blue flames. Hawks was like, <laughs> Nani, how did you know? How did you know I wasn't on your side? Dobby was like, <laughs> burger. I don't trust anybody. And let them blue flames rip like a Beyblade and completely torch Hawk's feathers. So Hawks is basically on 2% HP right now. He's struggling. How's he gonna get out of this? We gotta watch the episode. But before we do, man, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, all right? And then combo that thing into the, into the, into the, into the like button. I kind of lost my memory there. I kind of lost my thoughts there for a quick second, but we got it back, bro. Let's go ahead and check this out, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird, hello? Hawks is literally dealing with his worst enemy right now, bro. Fire. He doesn't want to deal with nobody that has flames, and he has to deal with Dobby, the person with the hottest flames. That's tough. Damn, my boy is really out of there, y'all. RIP twice, RIP twice. Are we gonna get into Hawk's background? Yep. So Hawk's was basically how he is to Endeavor, like how Deku was for All Might. You know what I'm saying? Like his number one fan type thing. Can't wait, you know, super hyped to work alongside him type thing. I'm just upset, man. Like this shot of. Nani? Wait, what was that, y'all? What was that? Oh damn. Oh damn, he about to go crazy. Yo, Stain was one of my favorite villains when I saw him. I'm not gonna lie. I thought Stain was dope as hell. I wish he was still active. All might do that! That man was a demon! Damn, that boy Endivore said, fuck it, I'll do it. Look how easy it was to kind of, you know, get me, pack somebody up, pack a Nomu up as soon as Aizawa shows up. That's why that man's a goal, bro. We, we. MVP, bro, she got a, she got two broken arms. I think both her arms are done, right? Oh, it's one, one of her arms. Oh, no! No! Yo, only I can pull her hair, bro. Damn, she said I don't care. <laughs> Hello! No! Yo, these Nomus are mad annoying, dude. These damn NPCs. Get them off me. Yeah, here comes Endeavor. Yeah, what's up? Look how quick these Nomus are downloading these opponents, bro. Jesus. They downloading all the DLC within seconds. Saturday shit! My name! Again! Let's go, bro! This looks great. I'm not gonna lie. Jesus. Look at her ribs, bro. Not a naughty kid. Yo, Aizawa really is like the, the most important, valuable piece into dealing with these Nomus. If he lets go of his erasure, bro, it makes the fights that much harder for the other heroes, bro. Aw, oh, damn. This man is out of the jar, bro. Someone let him out the jiffy little jar, bro. You gotta do what you gotta do. Hold that. Hold that. Yeah, that DJ punch, baby. 
kill him, bro. I don't care if his heart stopped. Kill him again. Kill this dude too, bro. This is the last dude you want to wake up, bro. Shigaraki, dog. <laughs> oh, man. Shigaraki, although he's the ultimate villain, his backstory was super sad, man. Like, and this is why I say it's not even like they're really villains, honestly. Their backstories just kind of turned them into who they are, bro. Like, his dad was a complete dickhead, bro. Oh, my God. Now it all comes together. Why he has those hands like that, bro? This music is hitting. Everything coming to go. Oh, my God. It's over. He's up. He's awake. Oh, that's game over. That's GG. Mmm, 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 mmm. Boy, it's about to, yo. It is about to become spooky hours now, bro. Shigaraki's awake. Game over, bro. Um, like I was trying to say though, but you know I was getting thrown off because I'm not gonna lie. This season, bro. It's so good seeing all of the things that I read in the manga being animated right now, man. Because it, it, this season gets intense, bro. This season gets really intense. And like I said earlier, I think this season is probably the most graphic season we've, we've gotten of My Hero. Like, we're seeing people, you know, we're seeing people die and it's kind of becoming like a normal thing because they're in the middle of a, of a war right now. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to see people die, whether it's a hero or villain. We're going to see both sides be, fall continuously. You know what I'm I'm saying we're seeing a lot more blood we just saw Mirko bro we saw what Mirko looked like after she fought the Nomus she had a huge hole right here in her ribcage area bro you know what I mean it was I don't know Endivore tried to cauterize that junk bro but she you know it looks intense man it looks intense so I would say that this is the most intense season that we've gotten so far man because this really is do or die at this point bro and now that that man Shigaraki has awakened oh my god you guys don't even understand for the anime watchers I know my manga readers y'all know what's up bro but it's gonna get so insane this is this is why i keep asking the question how long is this season gonna go up like how long is the season gonna go on and what what's where is it actually gonna end because as soon as shigaraki awakes so much things happen a lot of you see a lot of new faces pull up a lot of things with the characters that we already know happen you know what i'm saying uh i i want to say something but it's a it's a spoiler so i don't want to say it but we see, we see, we see, we see some people go down some dark paths. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. We see some people go down some dark paths in order to, you know what I'm saying, um, get what they want done, you know, in order to kind of get the job done type thing. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And um, I, the only thing I wish though, the only thing I wish though, I know I said this season was graphic, but I wish that it was kind of. The, the detail was a little more there you know what i mean like especially with people like dobby you know dobby's fighting hawks right now and in the manga um i read a little while ago but man in the manga dobby the way he was drawn he looked like a f***ing psychopath like he looked crazy like you saw how dobby was just talking to hawks and saying like he was very upset that that twice is dead you know and he was saying that, you know, he couldn't cry because his tear ducts got burnt off. You know what I mean? His heat is so hot that it's burnt the majority of his skin and stuff like that. So he has no tear ducts, so you can't he can't cry technically. But in the in the manga, bro, the way he was drawn to look, like I was like, when I read it, I was like, yo, Hawks is dead, bro. Like it's over for him. You know what I mean? Cause this man Dobby is not playing anymore, bro. Like he was drawn in a way that looked insane. Here in the anime, it's like, he he sounds crazy. The voice actor is doing his thing. Big props to the voice actor. But the way he looks, he just still looks normal. He still looks like Dobby when you see Dobby. You know what I'm saying? There's no crazy change to kind of resemble how he's feeling. In the manga, they did a very good job of showing how he looked. You know, his looks resembled how he felt. You know what I mean? I feel like I haven't seen anything crazy as far as how Dobby looks yet in the anime, but I really hope that he gets to that point. Um, 
We're going to see, man. We're just going to see. That's all I got to say about that. I enjoyed the episode, man. Mirko, shout out to Mirko, bro. MVP, bro. You know what I mean? Going crazy. She held it the hell down. Aizawa, another MVP. I know you can't have two MVPs, but Endivore and that team wouldn't have gotten as far as they did if it wasn't for Aizawa using his eraser quirk. And you know what I'm saying? Thanosing the uh the Nomu's uh powers and stuff like that, their quirks. Um so shout outs to that bro, but they're doing their thing. It's gonna get much crazier. I cannot wait to see what happens next. Um and man, let me know what y'all thought about it, man. Let me know how y'all felt about the episode. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and combo that thing up into the like button, all right? Because it helps your boy y'all. Y'all take it easy. Have a good one, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.